me, baby girl, I do oh. Baby, tell me, make I know what you do oh. Baby, tell me how much I go pay you oh. I will go fly go anywhere for the day oh. This love, now I want go oh. This love, now I want to take you oh. If you play like with the movie, oh Like I can play where you go, they play with me, oh Mommy, oh, mommy, oh, mommy, oh Girl, now me go, they play that deal oh. Girl, if you be baby, I be not new oh. See, yeah, she fine like a brand new, oh. yeah Show my what, show my girl and go, oh Why, show my what, to roll it, oh what we say people that we say people that Come make a show you special love me Show my what, show my girl and go, oh What, show my what, to roll it, oh Stop making my guest with me, stop making my guest with me Come make a show you special love me Anyway you say, I'm a day Jesus Long as I stay with my baby home Wait till them don't know that boy is so Where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he I'm good, I'm good. How's the family and everyone? Yeah, everyone's good, you know. Obviously, um, they're just moving, they're moving houses, so they just everything's a bit erratic at the moment, but everyone's good, you know, everyone's health healthy, which is the main thing. So yeah. Nah, I hate that, I hate that. I'm not gonna lie. Right now you're looking grizzly. Like this I know, I know, I know, I know. Well it's one of them ones I can't lie, I said to myself, my brother, like if we get if we get into the playoffs, like final, if we get into the final, then I'll get a trim. Mm, until, if not, then, until then, then uh, after the season, bro. Right now, I'm grinding. I'm grinding right now. So no, I hate that. Everyone, I hate that. Everyone I, can let's see. Talk about, let's talk a bit about football and a, a, a bit about yourself. Tell the yeah, people no that don't know Just the Silver. Who is Just the Silver, and where's he from? Like, what, what's where's he from? Where did he grow, grow up in that? Yeah, um, I grew up in Ilford. Like mm. Barking side, I grew up there. Um, I got into football because of my brothers. Basically, they played, and they used to take me to to, to football where they played and mm. stuff like that. And then, like, luckily, there was um, a scout that lived on my estate. Yeah. Scout. So obviously, like, a lot of people, like, in terms of the, in the estate, used to like nag him, like, "Can you get my my brother, or my son, a trial?" Mm. Obviously, my brother was one of them, like, literally, for, like, months, just like, yo, like, can you, can you? Then he was like, you know what, let me just take you somewhere, like, where he, like, trains kids, took me there, done well, then took me to Arsenal. And I was, like, I was eight these times. Yeah. So, yeah, just since then, obviously, just went through the ranks. Um, left two years ago. I'm at Brentford now. So, yeah, man, that's the... What was it, what was it like coming through the ranks? Um, at Arsenal? Young age. Looking, yeah, looking back, bro, it was the it was the best, bro. Like everything, obviously, like you just now, like they're like man, the minute. So looking back, like all the good times we had, obviously the education. Do you know what I mean? That like, Arsenal was like one of the best academies. So growing up there was um, was good, man. Like there was nothing like, I would change really, and yeah, yeah enjoyed it. I would you I would you say that obviously coming from. Like you've been there since a young player, how would you say that helped your development as a um, as a professional footballer? Um, I would just say like details, like obviously Arsenal was details. You know, Arsenal had to play like to keep the ball mm. and stuff like that. So like it's just like you just learn different things. Obviously, going um, abroad, playing different teams, different countries, like it's, it's sick, man. Like obviously, it's just it's a good experience, and I'm sure like everyone my age anyway and a few ages and above like can can vouch and say yeah it was, it was good i mean i enjoyed it when when you left arsenal was it a decision that um was based by the club or a decision that you, you made for yourself because you're still young how old are you josh yeah 21 21 yeah 
and it was from us was it um a decision that you made yourself or was it like both really Nah, it was so basically they offered me a, a contract um obviously i already signed my pro scout for men of a contract and yeah it was like bro i can't lie it's like the hardest decision ever to make you know obviously just um just thinking like obviously i wanted to stay at arsenal like i've been at arsenal for what 10 years yeah so i wanted to stay there but obviously just sitting down with my brother my agents we just we just thought it was the best thing for me to go out and play first team football you know like mm -hmm. i was in and around i was i was training a few times i played played a few times but you know what i mean i wanted to just go out and experience first team football and obviously yeah so we just made this made the decision to leave and yeah so it was, it was hard bro can't lie obviously brentford brentford's a championship club yeah. You leaving a, a, a top a top top club like Arsenal, what was the difference? Obviously facilities I can imagine facilities like that. And was it was it like obviously like you said you've been there for ten years, you've been at Arsenal for ten years. Yeah. Going into somewhere new that you wanna play first team football, what was what was the difference? What was the change for you? When did it hit you? Like Um It hit me when when did it bro it, you know I would say it hit me this season, bro. So it's taken me a whole season to, to like understand like everything, like yeah about first team football. Like the, the main thing I struggled with personally was uh, the intensity, like how fast it is. Do you know what I mean? And how, yeah. how on top and how proactive you have to be in the game. Like normally, like me because maybe like in twenty feet football, I was big and strong. I was like I was reactive, so I'll just react to things, and I could get away with it. But when you're playing against big men. Yeah. You don't really get away with it, so maybe like I'm, as, I'm too. Like, I don't get across quick enough. Just little things like that, and yeah. I just had to realize. I only realized that this season, bro. So it took me a year to understand like what needed to be done, and um, yeah. So like, I think for me personally, with the intensity that like, the change was 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 big. I can't lie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Arsenal was a bit. Honestly, like you said, Arsenal was a bit more technical, more fast and moving yeah, the ball. Yeah. But when you go, when you drop down the league, it's a bit more intense as in a pressing game oh. and physicality of, of the game as well. Because obviously, oh. you've, seen that you've been around big players, like you probably train with big players. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So obviously you can be big, but you've got the players that's not as big, but they're so technical and know how to get about the pitch. Bro, like even the first time I trained first team, yeah, I played, I trained against Santi Cazola, didn't it? Yeah. And, um, Bro, what he done to me, like, he made me basically just do a 360. <laughs> like, the first team coach was like, oh, Josh, just, like, don't press him. Like, just, um, just screen, just screen. Yeah. Because, like, bro, technically, he was a joke. He's probably, the, he is the best person that I've, I've trained with. But as you said, bro, it doesn't matter how big you are. Like, obviously, it's just how, how you are with the ball and how smart you are with it. So, yeah, it's coming into Brentford, like, running the championship football, you learn all of these things, man, and it's like I'm so happy that I made the decision. Really, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. Let's take it back to that. Like you said, like Santi Cazorla, he's the, yeah. he's the, but it's so technical that it's crazy. Yeah. Talk to us about like when when you seen him train or when he was training. With him. How how good is he? Bro, he's easily the best person I'm trained with. Like just left foot, right foot. Like he yeah. didn't get picked for Spain these times, didn't it? Yeah. So, we would, like, there'll be a few of us, like, international break. Obviously, the youngers will go train with the first team, make up numbers and stuff. And we'll do, like, 11 v 11. And literally, bro, yeah, say the game's, like, 1-1. One, one, he'll just get the ball and score. And he'll just, like, last minute. like. And he done this, like, three or four times. So, every, like, we, it became a thing, sort of, like, it'll be, like, 1-1 one, one, or they'll be losing 1-0. Last two minutes, get the ball left foot, right foot, bam, goal. Done, like, just... Taking corners that pre like pre like pre match that like day before, taking corners left or right for free kicks left or right for not a problem, just um, just easy bro. It just looks so easy, so effortless. That I means it's just natural, like natural natural ability. So, yeah. You yeah. wanted to ask, you still want to see players like that? Yeah. Like you see big, there's big players at Brentford as well. Yeah. You, that make you want to train harder. Like you're seeing how he's using both foot to cross the ball, like. Is that like um, a bit inspirational? Like for someone that, so I'm, I'm sure he was still working on his 
on his um, talents. Not just, yeah. you know, some people they know they're good enough, so they think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, hundred percent, man. At the end of the day, what you what you like come to realize that they're only human. You know, like when I first went yeah. to with them, and do you know what I mean? You just sort of starstruck. You're thinking, raw, like you're like you're training with these man, but when you get close to them and do you know what I mean? You start sharing yourself. You realize that these these men are only human. Like they've been in your position. Do you know what I'm saying? And they've yeah. really got to where they are through working hard, etc. So it does it does motivate you. You're just thinking, raw, like I just want to get into the team. Like I just want to like when you do well, it's like oh, I want to play. Like that's how I felt. Like when I when I was on the bench the first time, you're like you want to get the bench again and again. And then yeah. when you play, you're like you want to play more and more. So it, 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 it motivates you to like just keep going in it. Just keep doing more to try. To try getting the team because that's that's everyone's dream. It's my dream since eight years old to play off the first team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it just it keeps you going. Yeah, it does. So, so when you went to when you went to when you and Brentford now, and when you first got your first opportunity, how did that feel? So I said again. When you when you got the opportunity to play for the first team for Brentford, how did that feel? Um, yeah, it was good because obviously I signed injured. So it was like long awaited. So like, bro, I was just in. Obviously, when I first signed, I was doing rehab. Yeah. Um. Obviously, watching the boys play, it was a bit frustrating. And then after, like, I came on. I came on against Millwall last five minutes, and it was just a relief. Like, fine. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew it was gonna happen, but it was just finally got to do it. And then, like, bro, with me, I just you just want more. Do you yeah. Know what I'm you just want more. Like, it weren't like, yeah, I've done that. Like, I want more, I wanted to play. And yeah, that was for me, just always wanting wanting to play really. But yeah, play, playing for Brentford was big because even when like I first so when my brother, like brother my agent first told me about going into the championship, yeah. I wasn't really too sure in it. Like obviously you have obviously I, I believed in my ability, like, I always believed in my ability, but you just question like, am I good enough? Do you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. Do you know yes. you, yeah, you're playing against men, I mean am I gonna be able to hack it? What about if I like? What about if I don't do well? Am I gonna let my fab? Do you know what I mean? Just all these yeah. questions go through your head. But then mm -hmm. once you get into it, obviously, but I believe in my ability. It's just like one of those things where yeah, you just first session and then just goes on and on, and you, you know that you belong here, isn't it? So yeah. Just I just wanted to talk, obviously you're still young. I just yeah. wanted to touch up on the side again on like you, you're you're a big talent. Like I've seen you move like on the pitch. You, yeah. you, Good ability and that. How important? Okay. How important is it to work on, um, still work on your skills and the passing, and to still to still be grafting? Yeah, that's one thing about Brentford, bro. Yeah, one thing I love about Brentford, like, bro, we we like we do extras every day, like, only like, bro, you just see guys like going in, going in early is not even like once once training's done, like going in is not even. Like it's just you have not you have to stay out, but it's like it's just normal. Yeah. You know what I mean, you know, like some some places, like you'll be you might be a bit embarrassed, like you're the only one. But literally, at least everyone's doing an extra fifteen minutes. Yeah. At least, yeah. So it's just like it's normal, it's natural, like at Brentford to just do do extra. So that's one thing that we like. Everyone, like the manager, loves. Like he's like every time I look at my window, I've gone in and I'm seeing like at least half the team still training, still doing what they need to do to improve. And that's like the the ethos they brought around the club, you know, like you, you always want to do extras. You always got someone to do extras with as well. You're never by yourself. So yeah, it's literally an everyday thing, bro. It's become normal to me to just improve my game any any shape. Whether I'm doing extra running, working on uh dribbling, shooting, pinging, anything bro. So for me, yeah. it's like normal to just stay and do extra now. Before it wasn't, but now it is. What's your best? What's what's your best position? Uh, I'll say box to box. Yeah. Box I'll to box, yeah. Yeah, box to box, box to box. Uh, box to box. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, all these times I thought you was like a ten or something. Yeah, bro. Well, when I was younger, obviously I used to play ten. Well, I can't lie, I played every position. Yeah. Person. yeah, because I was big, bro, they tried to stop me so I'm back. <laughs> I was not having it, bro. I didn't know, but, bro, I, did, I was not on it, bro. Tell them back. Yeah, bro, because I was good on, good on the ball and stuff like that. 
Tice at me centre back, goal for like 23s. There was a period where I was playing left wing back when Arsenal done the, 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 the 3 4 3. Yeah. Um, I, played, I used to be out front when I was younger, left wing, right wing. Well, I've even played right back. I played everywhere, bro. But yeah, no, I'm, I was say box to box. I think coming back to it, it's really like it's developed my game still, especially like defending. Before, as you said, I always like attacker in it, like not sort of number 10 or even yeah. if forward, I just like to go forward. But now, the manager's got me like doing, doing the, the, the defending, running, tracking, all of it. No, but how does it feel to add that to your game? Obviously, you want to be the complete player, so that, that yeah, must yeah, be. Yeah. You want to attack, everyone wants to attack. But when you got that all round game about you, yeah. you make it more of a. No, lap. Like you say, a valuable player because look, he can attack. Yeah. Do the dog work in that. Yeah. Nah, but it's good because there'll be some games where, and there's been some games this season, you know, this is my first full season in the champ. There'll be some games where on the ball, I haven't had the best game. Yeah. You know I've tried to do stuff. It hasn't come off. It hasn't worked. But off the ball, I know that, like, as long as I put the work in, I'm, do you know what I'm saying? I can have a decent game. And mm. there'll be times where, like, my manager will be like to me, yeah, I know you haven't had the best game on the ball. Like, you're still young, you're learning, but off the ball, you were terrific do you know what i'm saying yeah so and that keep, that keeps me in the team mm. like that's kept me in the team do you know what i'm saying so as you said it's not it's good to have the all round game because if it was just me going forward and i don't have a good game then i'll be at the team but because defensively i've done well mm. it's like it's kept me in the team so that's one thing i've, I've learned and obviously it's added a lot to my game and yeah bro i, I enjoy it now bro i, I enjoy switching back I, like Two years ago, I would never have me saying this. I don't know if you're crazy, bro, but yeah. I, I enjoy the running back. I enjoy um, getting ball, like trying to get the ball off players. I enjoy it now, so it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. That, that, um, just talking about the support um, from your family, what's the support been like from your family during your uh, journey? Because uh, that's, that's another important thing. Obviously, as kids growing yeah. up, all you think about and all you do is love football, but there's times like you're 21 now, yeah. or even at the age of 18 when you start seeing the real deal and the ins and outs of yeah, football. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. So, how, how, like, how's your family helped you along the road? Bro, family is everything, bro. Like, without my family, that's what I'm saying. Without my brother, I wouldn't be where I am today. Without my mum, my dad dropped me training, but my brother wasn't there. Mm. Oh, and my sister, it's everything, you know what I mean? And, yeah. Well, I can only, I don't even, I couldn't even repay them because, do you know what I'm saying? But it's, they, they bro, they come to all my games now, like, they, they're Brentford, they get annoyed with me because, obviously, I've got a big family, I've got two brothers, two sisters, one dad. Mm. So I'm always asking for 10 tickets, do you know what I mean? Because everyone, everyone wants to come, everyone wants to come. Every game, bro, everyone's coming, so... Mm. Everyone's like, uh, bro, I even pay. I even have to pay. I pay now. I pay because I also you pay. You pay. Right? <laughs> Every game I'm paying, bro. My own stadium, I pay for tickets. <laughs> but now, nah, bro, family, family's been too good to me, my life. Yeah, I would them, I would them everything to be honest. I can't lie. Yeah, that's big man. You, you need that, and especially when they're coming to your game. Because I've spoken to a lot of young people and a lot of people that growing up when I was playing football, it was kind of difficult. Obviously, I've spoken to, you know, um, a couple of players and that. They were saying, yeah, it was difficult. Mum, mum's getting, um, pups couldn't take them to football. Training, yeah. like, things like that. But they're just grateful and thankful for the day now. And yeah, but it's not the- easier. Even shout out to my mum and dad, like, they didn't know it could, it could go. Like, when they were dropping me training, um, they didn't understand what it could become. They just thought I enjoyed it, I loved it. Like, bro, I used to hate it. I used to hate being late in it. So, bro, yeah. I'll be, it'll be like, I'll be like nagging my mom, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So they just, they just understood that I enjoyed it. They didn't understand how, like, what it could do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so, bro. That's just, that's it. You know what I'm saying if they, if they didn't take me, then I wouldn't be where I am today. You know what I'm saying so. No, big. The brothers and everyone, man. Big up the family. Yeah. And 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 when yeah. you and for Brentford and you've been playing, now they're coming to watch you know, big games and stuff. That must be yeah. sweet in the in the stands and that. Yeah, bro. Cause my even my mum and dad didn't want me to give Arsenal in it. Oh. <laughs> but, 
the bro, they didn't, bro, my mom told me, literally, she told me like two months ago, she was praying for me. She was like, she was praying like, oh, don't leave, like, she was praying, oh, God, please, like, it's destiny, it's destined to play for, because I've been there for so long, she's like, I'm destined to play there. She only told me this recently, innit? She was crying, mm. like, she was fasting, everything. I didn't yeah. want me to leave. But now they've seen, like, obviously coming to my game, seeing fans, like, Seeing my name, seeing the team do well, mm. do you know what I'm saying? Seeing how happy I am as well, because there's even a period when I was at Arsenal, I wasn't. They could tell I wasn't. But seeing how happy I am, they just they said, "Oh, like Josh, you made the right decision." Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's all gonna, like, do you know what I'm saying? Everything's gonna come into fruition. So mm. yeah, man, they're they're buzzing. Like just come to the stadium, see the fans, and we're scoring, celebrate, celebrating, and everything. So yeah, man, it's, it's good. Yeah, no, nah, I remember, I remember, like. Oh. I've seen, I've seen like, I know when you're watching the highlights, I've seen clips of you. But yeah, you was moving, you was moving forward still with your butt, man. Yeah, no, but yeah, to be fair, like, that game, I was okay, like, on the ball. Like, but when I, sometimes, sometimes I say, sometimes when I look at my games, I cringe in it because I'm like, bro, like, what is that? Obviously, now, the mentality I have now, so I have back then, was different. Mm. So, obviously, that game, I remember that game kind of roll. Well, like, I feel like I done, I done well on the ball, but. Obviously, off the ball, there was some some funny stuff, do you know what I mean? But <laughs> off the ball, bro, because, bro, now it's a big part of my game, isn't it? So, but, no, nah, I remember playing you, man, and, bro, you, man, you, man, just took the crowd, didn't you, fam? The crowd was screaming. Yeah. So, you, man, you, man, done your thing. So. The crowd was moving nuts. Uh, it, was you, it was you that licked that shot from, like, 30 yards. Uh, no, that was Mo. Oh. Yeah, Mo, and he's left. Yeah, yeah, Mo, 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 Mo came in on his left. I was thinking, I think when he hit that, it was no, no. I was thinking, oh no, it's going to be one of them games, bro. You know them games? They're just yeah, hitting yeah. everywhere, hitting <laughs> crossbar posts. It's not going to work. Like, I was thinking, fuck. Like, uh, what was you? Oh, wait, was it you like that when one nil up in it? Yeah, only scored, only scored, and then it was you like uh, two one. Well, what was you thinking? Obviously, you you know you knew that you was going to get chances in it, but what, what was you thinking when it went two one? Bro, you know what, bro, honestly, I was thinking I'm coming off. I, I thought I'm coming off. <laughs> bro, they had Rum on the bench. Rum was on the bench, bro. I was thinking, yeah, bro, my time's up. When I saw my number, I was just like, all right. I just done the jog, my head. You know that one <laughs> jog? <laughs> I swear to God. Bro, and then I remember the next, um, the replay, I didn't start in it. Bro, my mm. head was flying. My head was flying. Obviously, we beat you lot. Yeah. And, um, Bro, for the whole week, my head was flying, and then, like we had Oxford, like literally, like a week later, and the manager was like, obviously, as the week went on, obviously, like I bet I was normal again. Like obviously, my head was done at first. It was like luckily that your attitude changed, otherwise I wouldn't have played you because your okay. like, head was too gone. Like, mm. you know what I mean? But 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 um, you can't you can't. It's 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 a good thing and a bad thing. Sometimes you have to show your emotions if you you've been dropped. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of people yeah. in this game that. When they don't show any emotions and think like, okay, I've got no. then the gaffer's thinking already like he don't care. You get me? Yeah, he don't care. Yeah, yeah, hundred, hundred. It can go either way though. It can go either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like bro, when I was a when I first um, was at Brentford, bro, I was knocking on his door every week, bro. Every week, I was knocking the on his door, like. No, Cause you know when you don't knock, I, I swear they think like, yeah, he's just happy to be here. He don't care. He don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I wanted to play in it, but. To be fair, once because we was only I was only knocking because these times we were we were losing, but we was losing a lot in it. But then <laughs> once we found a formation, obviously we had Camo and Rom in it, and bro, after that, bro, I couldn't really knock no more because the man there serious. Do you know what I'm saying? So literally, it's just one of them ones. I knew that I had to just bide my time. Do you know what I'm saying? If if anyone got injured, just be ready. Or next season, I have to take more opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you got you got to respect one man camera still. I couldn't really. Of course. Too of course. Um, yeah. Was there was there like obviously you're still young. Even yeah. um, last year, was there ever a time when you think, man, I'm not gonna break through like that. I'm not gonna play like 25 or 30 games and all these things. Or was you just taking it as it comes? Has there ever been a period when you was down? Bro, earlier this season, so. I started the two first game, so yeah. we bought we bought two midfielders, 
And I started the two first games because one of the midfielders was injured and he went straight into the team, innit? Even though we won, okay, mm-hmm. we lost the first game, we won the second game. I, I, I came out of the team. Um, I didn't play the next six. And, bro, like, I was thinking... Obviously, looking at... Like, I was speaking to it about my brother. We laughed about it. But at the time, I was thinking, like, in January, bro, like, I might... I don't know, like, bro, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Maybe... Because right now, I've been here for a year now. I can't even get a game. There were some games I weren't even coming on. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, like, what's going on? Yeah. And then I had, a, I had a, like, a, a serious talk with uh, their sister, which changed everything, bro. So, obviously, they just told me, as I said, like, my defensive side, that like, I sometimes used to switch off. And, bro, and then after that, bro, I literally, two weeks later, I started... Um, started squad against Bristol and then bro yeah I, I, bro, ever since then I've, I've been playing but that time there bro was hard I can't lie yeah. you feel it's the worst thing to do but you feel safe for yourself it's, it's always the manager don't like you it's yeah. always um, and that's that's it's always, it's always someone else isn't it but you just, yeah, no, that's, that, that's what I'm saying it's always easy to say the manager manager but some people don't look at themselves but sometimes you're doing everything you can. Because I remember, I remember those times when I was young. I was, like, 21 and that. Yeah. And you're doing everything you can. Wow. You're ripping players in training. Everyone yeah. said, you, no, you're the best in training and that. Yeah, bro, that's what I, bro, I used to do my head go as well. Sometimes then, you go home, then you go home. Josh, you go home. Mum's asking you, how come you ain't been playing? Yeah. Oh, you know? no, no, bro. So you're telling them you're doing everything you can. Dad's saying, how come we're not playing? You're telling them, oh, I'm doing everything. Brothers are saying, why are you not playing? I'm saying, yeah. I'm doing my thing in training. They're probably thinking, no, you're not doing enough. I'm yeah, saying, yeah, I'm yeah, doing yeah. Big, like, sometimes it's just the manager. You get me? You can't do nothing. Nah, it's true, bro. Sometimes I even used to send kicks to my brother because he thought I was trying to rub He was like, <laughs> uh, he's like, <laughs> 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 uh, we had that like, um, huddle. We've got to use a huddle, innit? So mm. he used to send kicks to him. It's to show him, yeah, bro, like, I'm doing my thing, like, I'm trying, like, I'm trying, like, I'm actually training well, and it's just not happening, do you know what I'm saying? I don't know, for whatever, whatever reason, I don't know why, but then, bro, yeah, that time there was hard, bro, but once I had the chat, and I obviously just looked at myself and said, you know what, I'm better than this, like, I know I can get into this team, do you know what I'm saying? I know I can. So, bro, everything after that, everything just changed, my attitude changed, and, yeah, man, like, now they're here, and, this football game, a lot, a lot of things go on. Like, how, how tough do you have to be mentally? Because it is, it is a tough, tough game, man. What happens in that? Like the crazy thing that happens. Like, there's a lot of things that happen that people don't. There's a lot of things that happen in football that people don't see or people. Yeah. Get to, but you have to be tough mentally. Yeah, I feel like with me, it's just. I just. Um, take advice from people around me so like the manager my teammates and my family and friends anything mm. else i don't really bother because obviously bro there's obviously been games this season where they haven't been great you mm. know what i'm saying and as long as the manager the manager trusts me and my teammates trust me and my family's there my family's always there for me my friends that's all i care about really that's what i've come to learn this season do you know what i'm saying it doesn't really matter because you know, football, football's very cool. You know what I mean? One minute they hate you, one minute they love you. So <laughs> you can't, you can't really pay too much attention to them things. You know what I'm saying? I just focus on my game, do what needs to be done, and yeah. The, at the end of the day, the manager picks the team. So if I'm impressing the manager, if I'm doing, I must be doing something right. If I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's how I see it from now, anyway. Let's t- let's take it away from football for a minute. Yeah. Like, like I see someone in the comments say that. Like, like, where is it? Angola or Congo? Like, where is it? Like, people say, where? Who said that, Ezri? <laughs> Who said that? I don't, I don't think it was Ezri. It was somewhere in the comments. I see it. Like, nah. where is it? Okay, I'm Angolan, but I'm very in touch with like the Congolese side, like proper. Like, I even, I even understand Angola, like a lot of it. Um, I eat a lot of Congolese food. Um. Yeah, so, bro, yeah, that's it. That, 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 but there you go, chibi chalaki da jay, but there you go, oh, coffee on lomi day. Bulile, 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 like, which one is it? Like, we want to know which one is it. Is it, like, the, the kunduru or the dumbolos and ma? Nah, you live what? It's a, <laughs> nah, it's a coffee store, I can't lie. It's a coffee, yeah, bro. I used to, like, bro, when I was 
was younger, like me and my dad, like at weddings and that, like, we used to do like dance offs and that. Yeah. Yeah, but I used to love. Watching, no, but Josh, like, like, but Josh, wait, can you dance though? That's the thing. Like you don't look like you don't strike me as a person that can. You don't think, nah? <laughs> no, I don't think God like that. Don't live up there. Nah, I'm alright. Still, I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm going, bro. I'm, I'm calm in it, bro. No, bro. I grew up on. You know, if if I'm saying that I used to do dance off back in the day, bro. You know, I can you know wiggle on, wiggle hip one or two hips and that, but. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm alright, still. So what, what, when you, when you, when you're back home with a family and that. Yeah. Like, what, what do you chop up? What food? What, what, what food do you like chopping? I can't lie. Recently, bro, I've been having bunga. Like, because, like, I used to eat some meat, like back in the day, yeah. So, like, <laughs> my mum, my mum and dad, <laughs> we were having this discussion, yeah, my brothers and that. My mum and dad used to always force us to eat some meat, bro. So whenever I come home, I always want kwanga. And my dad's like, why do you always want like kwanga? Why can't you have some lean? And my dad, you used to force me, like, you used to pull it like this in my mouth. I didn't want to eat it. I, I didn't want to eat it no more. You're doing this to me. You know, and they do you know, this one, pull it in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't want it, bro. I didn't want it. Now I don't want it no more. You know what I'm saying? But, now nah, my brother is, my brother and my sister can chef, like, anything like rice, chicken, fish but mm. yeah when, it, when my mum's cooking like i have because my mum always used to cook two meals like meal for everyone else yes. and then her and my dad would eat samina every day every day every single day bro and then yeah so sometimes like when i miss it i'll have it because you know it's heavy and that so i can't have it yeah much. heavy i know you can't have it you can't have it every other day it's too heavy yeah 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 it's way too heavy so yeah that's that's why that's my go to banga and bunga my go-to my go to like I call mum, be like, yeah mum, I'm coming home this weekend, please. And then yeah, she just she'll get it still. No, pattern, pattern. When when you refer to that, what do you know wait, when you're off football, just say you finish training. What do you like yeah. doing? your hobbies like? What do you like doing when you're at home more chilling like after training? Bro, well, I'm kinda of boring, you know. I'm just the chill, like I'm watching I'm either watching football mm. or I'm watching like animal programme. Like, my mum and that like, get on to me. Like, I watch animal programs. Um, like, but, like, just. Don't be trying to know them, is it? But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to crash, mate. What did you say? <laughs> no. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. You said he, you said he like watching animals and that. So I'm thinking, so what? You're on Discovery Channel and all them things there? <laughs> yeah, bro. Me and my brother, like, my brother messaged me, oh, you watch this one, you watch this one, yeah, watch this one, and that. Hard, bro. Trust me. Good for knowledge and that. <laughs> no, I can't believe it. So what? If, if you're watching them kind of thing, if you're watching them kind of things, yeah, what's your, yeah. what's your favourite animal? Like, what's, lion, what's the, lion. your, lion, yeah? Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, is there's that, one is thing, that... bro, there's one programme, I watched it after a week, bro, lions are crazy, bro, I'm telling you. I love lions, though. Is that is that what's the reason you say lions? Is that something you can relate to, as in football terms, as in wanting something, being hungry, yeah, being a prisoner? Yeah, yeah, as well as that, of course. Like, bro, when you're young, that's what it, it's like. That's the rep, like, rep, representation, and then obviously once you learn about it, but yeah, bro, I'm hungry. Like, I want to eat mm. meat. I want to eat meat. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> hey, just bro, you think it's oh. a game, bro? I swear down, bro. You think it's a game, bro? bro. I, I love it still. I love it. Well, so you, you just you just bake off once you like you, you probably have a little snack or something and just what slap on the animal thing. Yeah, bro. Like I, I jumped on FIFA and that, bro. I'm so bad at FIFA, Warzone. I'm in Gulag every day. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah, bro. I'm so bad. I don't really play it. And I'm on them. I don't even waste my time sometimes. You know what I'm saying? More time chilling, watching football, always watching football, like, old, new, like, my mum used to get on to me, like, I saw you watch this game, like, ten times already, I'm like, mum, don't worry about that, or I'm just watching animal programmes, or, yeah, that's it, bro. So, not, not really watching no Netflix series or nothing like I that? No, no, yeah, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. What are you on to, or what you been watching I'm that, you, like? Um, I'm watching, what am I watching? Queen of South, that's it. Is that good, yeah? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm starting, I'm in like three episodes in, it, it looks kind of hard still, but everyone's saying it's hard, so mm. I'm going to, I'm going to carry on to the next level. No, that's pattern. Talk to me about your destinations when, when um, you're off football, when football season's done, where do you like flying to? Where do you like going? Um, well, I haven't really been anywhere crazy, you know, because I've been, every summer, bro, I'm either injured or i got international duty, so it's like, it's hard. Yeah. But I've been... I've been uh, Barca, I've been Marbella. They don't need to go to the I love Barca, but Barca's got everything in it. Mm. My, my boy used to live in Barca, so I used to go there, stay with him. Yeah. Uh, you got the beach, you got restaurants, and yeah, everything else. That's another thing, that's another thing, dude. Like, when you're chilling, obviously, if you've had a good game, or yeah. during, not really during the week, after you have a game, you're winning that. You go yeah. to any restaurants in London, like, where's your favourite restaurants that you like going to? Yeah, no, I like that North Store. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I, I knew you were going to say no v No, No, love is nice. No, Um, There's a few little ones. There's a few, like, undercover ones. I forgot their names and that, that I've been to that are decent. But they're the, obviously, they're the main ones, you know what I'm saying? I don't go there a lot, but when I go there, that's like it's nice, isn't it? It's proper nice. So yeah. What? So out, out. Okay, out of them five, Nobu hats and all that. What's your favorite? Like, what's your yeah, your like, favorite, top one? No. Yeah, I think mean, no. No taste the nicest, but I think mean, hat. Like, you got more like variation, more stuff to eat from. Yeah. You know what I mean, but I think mean, yeah, Nobu is nice and stuff. No, and so what? You living? You living on your own at the moment? Yeah, bro. I've been living my, by myself for maybe two years now, bro. So, 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 who makes so what? Can you chef up? Oh my god! <laughs> so, so what? Bro. Wait, wait, wait. Two years. Bro, two so, years. so what? You got, you got, you got a chef or? Nah, no one there. My sister still. Yeah. So my sister lives five minutes from me, isn't it? Okay. Such a, bro, literally such a coincidence. Like when I moved to Bedford, she actually moved there. To uh, like Eden area, so she just five minutes. Or oh, I'll take food. The, the, the training ground food is nice, isn't it? So I'll take food from there. Um, sometimes I'll try to cook, bro, but I can't lie. I'm not good enough. I don't really like the taste of my own food. Um, I just need to, I basically just need to learn, isn't it? Basically, I need to learn properly. Yeah, what have you done? Grab a, grab a few things. You, hey, YouTube, like, YouTube can be your best friend, you know? YouTube got everything. Yeah, but bro, it's not the same. Like, I know I need to learn. So I need to proper watch my sister. Cause my sister, bro, she can chef like anything. She can chef. So I'm gonna obviously start with the basics of like rice, chicken, and that. And after that, I've tried, bro. I've, I've tried. Wait, wait, wait. Now, I've come tried on, hey. Wait, huh? wait, wait. So, Josh, you don't, you don't have to make rice. Um, just the water, <laughs> water, water, rice, and salt, isn't it? <laughs> Man, <laughs> nah, water, rice, and salt, bro. Nah, so, water, rice, and salt, uh, alright? Just what? Just uh, just water, rice, and salt, that's it? Yeah, bro. Hey, you look at Look at the people in the comments. Hey, you look, are you hearing what Josh is saying? Bro, what else, bro? Hey, beep it, hey, Pierre, beep this guy what he said. He said water, rice, and salt. Bro, what else, what else is to put in there? You don't put a little bit of, like, oil on that. Bro, what's that? Oil. Nah, bro, I'm basic still. Yeah. I'm not good enough. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not good enough, bro, so it's just one of them ones. You know how to season, you know how to season chicken, though? Bro, it asks him a lot, bro. I can't lie, bro. Nah, dude, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, I learned, you, man. Go on. Nah, nah, I learned the other, I'm not learned, but I made some new discoveries the other day, innit? I tried, innit, my own thing. So, wait, 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 wait. You Wait, wait, wait. You tried your own thing. Tell, just tell the people them your own thing. What did you discover? Tell them. Nah, just concoction, bro. Obviously, before, I used to just put dry seasoning in it, and my chicken used to come out crispy, and I hated it. I was thinking, why is it coming out crispy? Then obviously I forgot you have to put the marinade and that, bake it. Do you know what I mean? Nice and that. So, yeah, bro, I'm learning. Smooth, smooth. Nah, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, about, 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 
a rap pre match though, when you wake up sometimes, they have to go to the ground and, and that to sell food. Um, or... Yeah, we link up our hotel. So we link up our hotel. I'll just have, um, so like a day before a game and on the uh, game day, I don't eat, I don't eat like no red meat in it. So I'll just have um, pasta, tomato sauce, um, sea bass, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I feel like I feel, I feel lighter, innit? So it gives me a full lighter, so I'm not too heavy. Yeah, that's now. like, do you, do you eat heavy? Do you eat heavy on, um, and pretty much, like, on, on the day? No, 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 no. Because like, I didn't, well, I have to, bro, that bro, you have to run. Everyone has to run, bro. So you have to make sure you're ready. There's no... Have they got, have they got, uh, at Brentford, have they got, um, what's it called? Body weight things. What, do you have to be under a certain level, or? Yeah, not too much. But if you are, like, especially in pre-season, <laughs> If you're if you're overweight, like if your body fat is too much, you have to um, do extra back sessions later. Or you have to come, in, come in on the day off. Over twelves or tens? Well, am I now? I'm at nine, bro. I like, don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pattern, man. Nine is pattern. I don't yeah, get. Yeah, I, I don't get sometimes when I hear people that eight and that. Bro, I think some of them, some of them are genetics, isn't it? Like, bro, if I didn't bang ball, I can't lie. I'll be finished. <laughs> bro, I'll be, I'll be finished, bro. When I was younger, I used to like. I think that's why my brother actually got me into football, you know, because I was putting on too much weight. Serious? And, yeah, like even now, bro. If I don't train for a week, yeah. So I always have to keep on top of what I eat and like, bro. I don't, I hardly snack. I try not to snack and yeah. stuff like that. Well, healthy snack anyway, but no, like chocolate sometimes, but not too much. Nah, hey, hey. But just not a little bit on the, on the weekend when you do your thing, a little gato. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so when you do your thing, have a good game and that, maybe. It depends. If I'm playing Tuesday, then no. But if I've got a whole week to prepare, then maybe I might I might order little creams or something, gold creams or something, demand them or something. But other than that, nah, bro. Nah, I hear that. I, I hear that. I hear that. That's good. That's good, man. Hey, moving yeah. back. Obviously, like you touched up early. <laughs> <laughs> look at that killing me. Hey, can't get the man over here. That's why I hear. Look, look. I, I know, man. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't plan. I didn't plan. Yeah. Hey. So uh, moving forward, yeah. Moving yeah. forward. Obviously, you said you want to go go to the playoffs and that. Hopefully, yeah. win it. Not even hopefully. What I want you to win it. Yeah. What else? What else you want to do? That like, you want to get more goals? Like, what's your goals? Um. You know what. I don't really, I don't really set myself goals. Now, yeah. Obviously, obviously, I want to score goals. I want to get as much goals as I can, as many assists as I can. Um, but, bro, I, I feel like when you set goals, like if you say I want to get to ten goals, bro, you start moving craven on the pitch. Do you mm. know what I mean? You limit yourself to certain things. So like, so I just like play in it, play free. Don't focus too much. If it, it will come. Do you know what I'm saying? If you work hard enough, it will come. So. I'm just sort of patient with that. Obviously, my dream is to play in the Prem. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, mm. That's what everyone grows up watching. That's what everyone wants to do. So, yeah, that's it really, bro. I'm just, I'm easy, in it? I'm just, I'm, I like enjoying my football, so. No, that's like, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm happy that you're smiling. So, Esri, Esri, wait. Before we move on, Esri, listen, if you're watching this, Es, before Josh says anything, what was, what was, um, Josh is um drip like what was the swag like before he says anything? <laughs> Esri, Esri, if you oh god I'm gonna fit go on, go on. Esri, what was the swag like? Cause I've I've watched Carlons and I know obviously Carlon played with Esri for years, so I think Carlon can back me up if he's still in here. You know what I mean? But I think that's it. Oh he's got safety night night tracking every day, yeah. Yeah, nah, bro, I'm, bro, tracking to training every day. Man, them come in jeans, bro, drip, like, I'm just like, there's no need, bro, I'm going home, do you know what I'm saying? So, no, I hear that, I hear that, that's, that's I'm, like, I, I like feeling comfortable in the morning, the jeans thing and that, it's kind of mad still. Bro, what's the point of putting on your best, best, best clothes to go back home? Like, I, don't, I don't, I don't come to a personal one. Just got a bit, I can't lie. All right, cool, say night. So when you well, uh, when you go in that now, Josh, I want to ask you when you go in that. So like, what do you wear? Like, or let the community, like, what do you really wear? Like, 
um, bro, any, bro, anything. I like mixing in it. So sometimes, obviously, I'll, I'll like, have desire, man, but sometimes I'm just normal, like, bro, it's just, it's just nice, it's nice, isn't it? Like, plain T jeans, crepes, I don't know, bro. I'm not really, I'm a bit of both, isn't it? I mix and match. Uh, you, what what would you say out of trainers and that like brands not 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 the designer ones like Nike and all these things what's yeah. your favorite crepes at the moment favorite crepes um I think Vans you know I think yeah. Vans are, yeah Vans up there I have a few Vans I think Yeezys are nice like that's just the trainers I wear like more or less every day innit when I'm about, like, about your brands right now out of the your Dolce and all these uh, things. Who's got the best would you bro, say? I can't lie. Bro, obviously because of the whole situation and like my family moving and that bro, I haven't been buying nothing, bro. I haven't mm. bought anything for like four months. So Serious? Really, yeah bro, I don't really I haven't really paid too much attention to it. But obviously in general they're yeah, Dior like Dior's for Panas. Um what else do I have? I don't know, but let's see how Bro, just the same, innit? The same, the same, the same. Same as everyone, really. I don't have nothing special at the back. I, no, 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 no. Pattern, pattern, I rate that still. Yeah. That people that got their own thing, like, they're not pressured to get in. Get I me. Just how you want to dress. I'm, I'm on that, I'm on that wave as well. Yeah, I just have, as long as you got, like, a nice, decent white, white airs on, white air forces and they get me, it don't, it don't matter, bro. I just had one. Yeah, no, so a certain man, I remember when we was in the 23s, we used to get all like Reese and that. Reese tried the mat, like Reese is doing the, I don't know what, I don't even know what to call it, bro. <laughs> Reese went for a phase, bro. I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> it was funny, though, know, like, so, it suits him because that's his personality. I can't lie, <laughs> Reese is out there, bubbly, like, do you know what I'm saying? Reese is a good guy, like, but. Some of the drink he was coming in, I was with him, bro. That's not you. You're from <laughs> South. You're from South, and they're wearing the budget. No, but I've been, I've been on, I've been on Reese's thing recently. Hey, Reese, Reese has got, Reese has got a bit, you know. Yeah, no, he does now, like. No, no, the, the only thing, the only thing that was, that I thought was a bit beaky, like, hey, no, Reese has got drip. I'm not gonna lie, I've been on these things. Got, no, but no, the only no, thing no, that, no, yeah, yeah. Got the outfit, the out, there was one outfit that I thought was big. It was the one when they had the 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 platform um converses. <laughs> no, Reese has got drips though. Reese has got drips, but sometimes, um, obviously I don't know. He done like a fashion with Hector. Do you know what I'm saying? Like obviously Hector's swag is different, but mm. Reese, I don't know. Reese, isn't it? Reese is Reese, though, isn't it? Reese, like, he likes that. He likes to try new things, isn't it? So I give it to him, innit? As long as he's comfortable, like me mm. personally, it's impossible. But for him, you know what I mean? It's, it looks right still. Yeah. Wait, he, let's take it back to football. Yeah. He, um, when he was playing, he was the hardest opponent and he come up against that when he was thinking, wow, this guy, man, allow me. Give me a yard or something. Um, give me, okay, give me a yard. Uh, it's Calvin Phillips, like, bro. They do man for man, isn't it? And he was following me everywhere. And, like, literally, bro, he clamped me and I had to come off because he, he bruised my hip. <laughs> so, <laughs> bro, he followed me everywhere. Like, every time I got the ball, boom, like, boom. But in terms of popping, obviously, we played we played West Brom and, like, Mateus, Mateus Pereira and Brom, like, if you give them space, time, yeah, it's long. It's mm. long, but in terms of, like, clamping, yeah, I would say Calvin Phillips is the hardest. Yeah. Yeah. Mad, mad. Oh, no, actually, oh, wait, where are you driving to? Manchester? <laughs> You've been driving for time. <laughs> no, I'm nearly home still. Wait, what's that? Yeah, I'm nearly home, 15 minutes. Man, have you been driving for time? Where are you going? Where are you bro, going? traffic, bro. Okay, bro, from from ends, Ilford, to, to, what do you call it, to West, bro, it's like, no traffic's 40 minutes. When there's traffic, I'm tra you can be driving for an hour and a half. As we know, yeah. bro, as we know, the traffic is crazy. All right, moving forward, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, you're still on your football journey. Yeah. To end it, to end it Josh, your best 11. Uh, 
players with playing alongside. Okay. Um I'll do players that I've properly played with, not like one or two of them. Um Okay, David and goal. David and goal. I'll say left back. Left back, I'll go Jay De Silva, but it's a close one between him and Rico. But I'll go Jay. Um, centre backs: Pontus Janssen and Christian Bielik. Uh Right back, I'll go Jordi. Uh, CDM. I'll go Remain. Mm. Um, I'll play two, two eights. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'll play, I'll play, okay, yeah, two eights, I'll play, I'll put Marcus Edwards in one, and, uh, I don't know, we'll get back to that one. Mm. It's too hard, I'm, it's too sweet. I think I'll put, I'll put Joe, Joe Willock. Um, left wing, I'll put Saeed. Uh, right wing, I'll put Chrissy. Chrissy Willock. Mm. Uh, up front. <laughs> up front. Oh, I'll have to say Eddie. He's finishing. Yeah, yeah Eddie's finishing. We played, we played a lot together, innit? And he's finishing. He's a... It's a joke, yeah. So I have to say, it is still. You see it, you see it sometimes. Touches when he plays for the first team in the game. Pardon? You see it, you see it when he, when he's playing. He's yeah, finished. yeah, yeah, bro. There's some goals he scored, and I'm just thinking, bro, how did you that? Like, how did you score that? Bro, he's finishing. It's, it's crazy still, and yeah, he's showing it now. How he always like we always look, look, but uh, but uh, but uh, look where we said. <laughs> but as we said. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear the back four. But yeah, I was out of to be fair, I was out of him, Christian Bielek and and Ez, but Bielek, I played with Bielek a lot still. Like, mm. Bro, like just crazy. I played with him for two, three years, so yeah. But Ez, Ez knows what it is anyway. Ez knows what it is. No, I, Josh, thank you for the time, bro. Hey listen. Yeah, no, nah, sorry about Sorry about this, bro. I could I forgot in it. I, I had to do things and stuff like that. So no, nah, no, nah, it's fine, man. If you do things yeah. for the family, no one cares. Listen, yeah. I we wish you all the best when you're back. More goals, Hopefully you lock yourselves and win it. Thank you. And we'll be watching. But thank you once again for coming on, man. Nah, pleasure, pleasure, bro. Love, take care, my bro. Uh, love, love. Too.